the BRAC or the Barangay Human Rights Action Center program. Uh, is this is the uh, grassroots mechanism of the Commission on Human Rights, and it seeks to reach the people, empowering them in human rights uh, knowledge and skills. Uh, it has four functions. First is uh, awareness raising on human rights. Second is complaints receiving, uh, mobilization of the people in the community on human rights, and of course, monitoring of the human rights situation in the community. We have, uh, I think it's something like uh, 600 uh, human rights action centers uh, that are operational. Yeah, it's effective because people don't need to go to the Commission on Human Rights to learn about human rights. It is us who are going there. Uh, do their initiatives uh, to mainstream human rights human rights-based approach in the program, projects, and policies in the barangay or in the village. And the good thing for this is uh, human rights became a word of mouth in the barangay because of the presence of the Human Rights Action Center. And the people are learning to go to the BRAC to complain to human rights violations. Since I am assigned in the BRAC program for 20 years now, so I've been into different barangays in the Philippines, and every time they hear the word human rights, oh, is there such a thing as human rights? And then later on, uh, they realize that there are rights that uh, been, have been violated. And there are rights that they really need to be recognized. And one thing that's effective is that uh, they can already take their own initiative to protect their rights. That's why we use the word uh, to take the responsibility, to take the cudgels in the promotion and protection of human rights. So it's a very good thing that the awareness and the empowerment of these people. Though sometimes uh, there are also uh, local government units, uh, the barangay officials, they also sometimes surprised. Is there such a thing as human rights? So, so it's so heartwarming if you were able to deliver all these things to them and they are awakened and they got interested to include uh, the rights-based approach in the local governance at the barangay level. That's a very good ex uh, experience that I have. The campaign that we targeted for um children's rights on child neglect particularly. Uh, we started it in 2009 and uh, the main message of the campaign was that child neglect is an abuse. And to get the message across, uh, one of the tools that we used uh, was a music video. <laughs> So it was one uh, way that we could uh, get the message across to everybody. To make the music video, we actually talked to a music band, a local band, uh, that uh, was uh, quite interested in such issues. And the, the whole concept of the song and the, even the lyrics, everything was their idea. They produced the song, the whole video, the song, uh, just free of charge, because it's a community issue and they actually identified with the issue. There's this one um, show um, on uh, our local uh, st uh, TV station which uh, produces a weekly uh, music chart. So this particular song was on the chart for a couple of weeks on top. Based on that feedback, uh, what we have taken on now is community theatre forums. What happens is audience is asked to actually raise their hands or stop the theatre when they identify an issue. And we stop the uh, theatre at that point and then they, the community, uh, they are either asked to come up and show this uh, solution themselves or uh, they just talk about the solutions or what could be different uh, in this scenario. The learning process is easier when they actually contribute into the process of the learning and they themselves come up with solutions to actually address on a community level, which has been uh, very successful uh, from our perspective. <laughs>